Philip. Hitman. What are, you, what are you talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. No, I don't have a name. Are you okay? I'm really concerned about your mental state. Did oh, something happen no, in the Gary, accident? No, no, no. You're going to have to come up with something else. Mental state's already been used. Philip, I saved your life. I know you did, Gary. And I tell you, that had really fooled me for the longest time. I couldn't figure that out. But, you know, I had a lot of time on my hands, Gary, with nothing to do but think. And bit by bit, I finally put it together. What are you talking about? Tell me something, Gary. Clear a couple things up for me. I, I know that you and Neil planned to kill me, but, but Philip, what was the original plan? No, no, no. Just answer me something. Was, did Neil get cold feet? Was that what Look, it was? Look, why don't you just try... See, because I couldn't figure it out. This was so frustrating because I knew that there had to be somebody else involved. But Philip, I couldn't I, figure I don't know, out I don't, who. I, See, I knew why Neil would want to kill me. But you, Gary, I'll tell you, you know, you were, you were a whole different thing. That's why it took me so long. Yeah? And what'd you come up with? I kept racking my brain, asking myself, why would Gary want to have me dead? And then it finally dawned on me. Yeah, well, what dawned on you? You thought Blake was going to be a rich widow, didn't you? Oh, I did, did I? You sure did. That's why there was the mix-up in my will. I can't. I, I, I can't. I can't let you go on any more like this, Philip. Look, I'm not angry with you. You're not. No, and I'm not even going to take it personally. I feel and bad. I understand through the trauma that you've been through the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but let me tell you something right now. Mm -hmm. You are way off base. You got that? I'm way off base. Yeah, that's right. Way off base. You know, it's funny, Gary, because you actually did me a favor last night. Because that guy showed up there just as the cops were getting there, and he scared me off. Sort of an obscene favor, I guess. I don't know what you're talking about. Gary? Have you ever watched somebody while they prepared to kill you? No. But I confronted death when I rescued you. No, I don't mean like that. Um, I mean from a distance. You know, it's, it's weird. It's really kind of interesting, because it's not at all what you would think. It really isn't. Um, last night, uh, I, uh, I fixed my bedroll, and I went outside, and I watched this guy through the window. And it was funny, because, you know, you would have thought, I mean, you figure if you're going to kill somebody, you'd want to do it in a hurry, wouldn't you? But this guy, he really didn't. He, uh, he took his time. He, he, he just came in, and he looked around for a while, and then he very, very calmly pulled out his gun, and he came over, and he aimed it at my bedroll, completely prepared to just shatter my skull while I was sleeping. Isn't that unbelievable? You're delirious, pal. No, I'm not delirious. Yeah, you are. No, I'm really not. I'm really not, Gary. I'm really not. I'm really not. <laughs> I thought you had the perfect plan, didn't you, Gary? You were going to kill somebody that was already dead. But you guys screwed up. Somebody owes you some money, Gary. What are you doing, Gary? Hey, someone's trying to kill you. We need to call the police. Oh. Put the phone down. What you're saying is true. You're in danger. We need to get the police involved. I'd have killed you right now, Gary. I really should. Because of you, I've been separated from everything in my life that I care about. But you know, today's your lucky day, Gary. Because I'm not going to kill you. Because today, I have a daughter. And as my birthday present to her, I'm going to spare your life. Because the first time she sees me, I want to feel clean. See, Gary, I I'm not a murderer. It's one of the differences between you and me. You need help. <laughs> no, I don't need any help, Gary. Because I'm helping myself. And let me tell you something, I'm going to get you. If it's the last thing I do, I'm going to get you. It may take me a while, because I'm going to have to do it by the book, but I'm going to get you. <sighs> OK. Well, I just wanted to stop by and let you see me alive. Because some other people are going to see me alive today, and I'm going to be talking about you a lot, of course. Um, see, I'm not a ghost anymore, Gary. And 
if anything should happen to me now, the police will know just who to come for. Have a good day, Gary.